Okay friends, now we are good. So we have created the controller, now it's time to create the view. Okay, the view, how, how we can create a view is pretty straightforward, as you, as the same as you create the controller. The view is the actual HTML showing in the page. It could be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever the thing you like. In this case, we are using only HTML. So how we can create is very simple. Go to the application folder within your code igniter. And you search for the view, views folder. And there are a couple of things that are already created by default. And you can uh, create whatever the views as the PHD file. So we create a file called one. So we have created the controller here, hello controller. So we have a function called one. So in this one, we, we are creating a view name one to get loaded here rather than uh, echoing here. So what we do is we create a file called we save it as one dot php you can give whatever the name you like there is no restriction for that one one dot php i put some html content here say h1 this is the one okay i close the h1 tag okay that's it now we created the one dot php file this is the simplest and i will put some some type now okay here is the content Okay, this is your simple view file so it contains the heading and uh, some kind of text okay now we try to load it from the our controller so we go to the hello php controller again and we what we do is we just uh, remove these parameters because we, we are not getting so we don't need these parameters right now just remove that one and we will close this and so what we're doing is now we are trying to load it so okay let's remove this constructor so, so we don't need that save it so now this is how you load a view into the controller so this and we say load again we say v okay this load v and we give the name of the v so what we name is one that's it so now let's see how it's gonna work so it's my controller I, i'm using a one controller okay this is the one here is the content this is the html we have written there okay should for good okay now we have done it so now we need to so now normally the packages are arranged like this you have a header it will come to the everything you have the footer it's common to the everything this is the method uh the mid one is the content so we can load any any number of views you need so for the demonstration purpose i create a file called header header.php this is the another view save it as header.php i put normally h1 tag saying this is the header And then what I'm doing is I go to the control again and I load and I load the, the header view again. So let's load the header. So can I show to you from the browser? See, we have load the oh, something like this. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, yeah. I load the header and the the one V would be so you, you can uh, load uh, whatever the number of uh, views you need to have so this is uh, and uh, I'll be showing you how, how you can use this thing real in our real life examples uh, I'll demonstrate how, how you can do this uh, pretty deeply so you don't need to worry about that now that's it now the, the, the problem is how can I pass some data into the view? How can I pass some data into the view? Because when we are rendering the view, so we, we cannot have static HTML here because we, we, we need to have some kind of data within there. We can do some names like. So what we're doing is, so so we do like this. Now we need to accept a name to the hello. Hello one, we're accepting a name. Okay, name from the parameter. 
now we need to pass that name into the one okay cool now how can i do create this we need to create the first create an array let's say this case data array so we are passing the data into the view we need to create an array so it's an associated array so we get array and we put a name there we say this name okay this name and a, the value of this name is the name comes from the parameter okay whatever the name you put here will be shown here as a variable okay whatever the name the key you put here will be shown as a variable in this b file okay you have created the data now you are passing that data into the your view called one okay in the one what we have what we can we can see the parameters we have passed here this uh, name as name we can we are seeing it as name because we are passing it as a we give the key as name i cannot say hello say hello say php php tag say cool say dollar no that's it click right here so we'll see how it's gonna work no one the name is not there hello or no you can put uh what did they need this is a father my name Oh, it's not gonna work. We have to. So I'll show you in that video how it's gonna work. I don't know that. Okay, this is how how we can pass some data into the your view. So I, I just rename this uh, name into n. Let's see what's happening. And we try it says, okay, PHP okay undefined variable name at view file as line number three. That's because because he says there is no variable like this that's because we have changed this, the key as in n so now we need to change our name into n to change that it will be worked okay now it's working so this is the how, how, how the view how we can create a view in uh, coding that is very simple and now we have created a view and we put few views in the controller we load few views and then we pass some data into the view and yes these are the pretty things there is things that we can do with the view thank you very much we will see in the next video about how we, how we can create a model and how we can use that thank you